Hello everyone, welcome to Technologies Discussion Channel. Today, I'd like to continue the discussion on Arduino and also Python programming. This video, the objective is to understand how can we actually meet PyChem talk to Arduino Uno board. This will be the part 4 series discussion on Arduino and Python programming. If you're keen to know more about Arduino and also Python programming, please take a look on the playlist under description. This video will give you a better understand in terms of Arduino and Python programming. This is my email. If you have any questions regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to support this channel by pressing the like and also the subscribe button. Please also turn on your notification bell in order to receive more information from this channel. Sincere thanks for your strong support, guys. Okay, let's understand okay, what is standard for Mata. But first of all, okay, so for example, if your Arduino application is a program that doesn't need to communicate with any other device, then you actually don't need to do this for Mata. Okay, so before we take a look on Formata, for example, at part two series discussion on Arduino and Python programming, we actually take this. We actually have an Arduino IDE. Basically, Arduino IDE will be able to talk to the Arduino Uno board because both of them are made from the same company. And I assume that both of them talk the same language. So therefore, whatever thing that we, we do this at the Arduino IDE, we can actually send the instruction to Arduino Uno board and the instruction will be executed. And for example, if there's any another direction of message, it will be able to do it so. Okay, because like what I mentioned, they are all made by Arduino. So for this particular case, you don't need any permata. Now, for example, instead of Arduino IDE, for example, now I have a PyChamp. So this is what I mean. Let's say we want to control the Arduino Uno board from another machine or program like PyChem. So what will happen is basically this is Python is from another company. Arduino is also from another company. And now we have this issue. If both of them does not talk the same language, PyChem talk PyChem language, Arduino talk Arduino language. And because there is a difference of language, so therefore, PyChem language cannot be directly sent to Arduino Uno board because Arduino Uno board will not be able to understand the language and will not be able to execute them correctly. So what can we do? Okay, we can actually put an interpreter in between PyChem and Arduino Uno board. So we can imagine now, basically when PyChem talk the language, they talk to an interpreter. Okay, this interpreter, you can assume that they understand PyChem language and they are able to convert them into Arduino language and basically the language will be sent to the Arduino Uno board and the instruction will be able to execute correctly. And if there is another message from Arduino board all the way to PyChem, again, they will go through the interpreter. Okay, the interpreter now will be able to understand Arduino language and they will be able to convert back to PyChem language and hence it will show whatever so-called message that is actually from Arduino Uno board. So in order to make this PyChem able to talk to the Arduino, we need to do these two things. Okay, firstly, we need to configure a PyChem interpreter. Okay, so let's make things easier. So what happened here is basically these steps here ask the PyChem to talk to an interpreter. So this interpreter is actually at the PyChem website. And this step here, which is called a standard formata, for example here, uh, let's again make things easier for you to understand. You can imagine that this Arduino Uno board basically instead talk to an interpreter or receive any all the instruction all from the interpreter. So this is what standard formata will do. Basically, they will tell Arduino to take instruction from interpreter or give the instruction to the interpreter. However, here I actually configure a PyChem interpreter, which means that, for example, PyChem will talk to an interpreter, and if there's a message from the interpreter, 
PyChem will accept the whatever instruction from the interpreter. So this gives you some idea how can we actually meet PyChem actually talk to the Arduino Uno board. Okay, so now let's take a look how can we actually do these two things. Let me show you how to do the standard Pomata first. So firstly, you need to go to this file. You go to this example. Okay, you look for Fermata. And from here, you actually can find the standard Fermata. So you just select this standard Fermata. So you can see that another page pop up. Basically, this page is the standard Fermata. Okay, so let's wait a while for the program to load finish the standard Fermata. So this is actually the program for the standard Fermata. So basically, this is written by Arduino. So next, what we need to do is basically we need to select the board. Okay, for example, my Arduino Uno board is hooked on to COM7. So I just need to select this Arduino Uno board at COM7. And what I need to do next is basically simply just upload. So when I actually upload it, basically this standard formata will be burned into my Arduino Uno board. So if there's no error, which means that this is successfully done. Okay, so over here, you can see that this is successfully done. So I have complete this task of standard formata. I actually burn this standard formata onto the Arduino Uno board. So let's move on to PyChain Interpreter. Okay, next, let me show you how can we actually configure a PyChain Interpreter. Okay, so let's start off by pressing this main menu. After that, file. Then we choose this settings. So once we done these settings here, okay, we're supposed to be able to see this Python interpreter. If you cannot find this, for example, okay, it may be hiding inside your project code, for example, over here. So what you need to do is basically you just click your project code. Okay, you open it up here. So let me open up this. You actually can see this Python interpreter. So you select this Python interpreter. Okay, so once you are inside here, once we select this Python interpreter, okay, you see that this is a plus sign. So basically, I want to add in my so-called Python interpreter inside here, PyChem interpreter here. So I click this plus. Okay, so I actually want it to find my PY formata. So basically, where is my PY formata? Can you see that this is actually my PY formata? So I select this. Okay, so after that, I just click on install package. So they are installing the package now. So let's give it a while for this package. Okay, so you can see that this package formata is successfully installed. So let's close this window. So over here, you can see that I actually add in another package, which is the PY, PyChem Fermata. So this step, I actually successfully so-called configure a PyChem interpreter. Okay, with this, I like to end my discussion on this video. Over here, you actually see how can I actually meet this PyChem talk to a Arduino Uno board through an interpreter. And before I actually can configure this, I actually need to do additional two steps. One, which is what I'm doing at the later part of the video, which is to configure a PyChem interpreter. Another version, which is I done it earlier on, is how to have a standard formata burn into Arduino Uno board. With this, I'd like to end my discussion. Please help to like and subscribe. Once again, sincere thanks for your strong support. I see you soon.